Howard Hughes, millionaire genius, was a pioneer in aviation and motion pictures. He defied convention, set new patterns for others to follow, made stars of unknowns, and left the world a legacy of film classics. This is one of them. Hell's Angels. When Hell's Angels opened in 1930, it was acclaimed as one of the greatest films in the history of motion pictures up to that time, and no wonder. It took two and a half years to shoot. Cost four million dollars. Equivalent today to over 20 million. Used 87 planes and 137 pilots in aerial combat so real it took the lives of three pilots. So spectacular was the world premiere showing of Hell's Angels. It has not been equal to this day. The announcer who covered the event reports. You are looking at Hollywood Boulevard, illuminated for miles in honor of the opening of Hell's Angels. For the first time in history, Vine Street and Hollywood Boulevard have been made into one-way streets for two miles through the heart of Hollywood to facilitate the handling of the traffic, bringing the throng to this elaborate opening. The boulevard is decorated for miles. Five hundred thousand people are crowding the streets to get a glimpse of the stars and celebrities. All tickets for the first night were sold 24 hours after Sid Graham announced the opening. You may have seen opening before, but you've never seen anything like this. This is the opening of Hell's Angels. Angels, Howard Hughes began the tradition of making stars of unknowns. Would you be shocked if I put on something more comfortable? After appearing in Hell's Angels, Jean Harlow became the platinum blonde sex symbol of the 1930s and a Hollywood superstar. Hell's Angels, directed by Howard Hughes, a motion picture for all time.